and uh, welcome to Meut Mond's workshop of a recycled fish puppet. Uh, my name is Joanie Papillon and I am the founder of Meut Mond. It was born in March 2018. Um, so I'm really excited to be sharing this with you guys. So we've been making recycled puppets for two years now. And we have a bunch of different shows and activities that we do with the kids, uh, touring in schools, uh, daycares, festivals, um, uh, community events, uh, libraries, and all kinds of wonderful things. So for the recycled fish puppet, you will need a piece of plastic, a soft plastic like this. So it could be a plastic bag of some kind. Um, you don't need it to be too big. Uh, you will need some old CDs. Uh, you won't be able to reuse the CDs afterwards, so make sure you don't um, care for them anymore. You will need the CD booklets. Now, I don't have any more CD booklets, all right, but um, so whatever um, the little booklet that comes with the CD, um, take that along. I'll be using some um, uh, vinyl papers um, wraps, so uh, that's what I'll be using today. But uh, as you can see in this example, so the tails were done with um, the CD booklets. Yeah. All right. Um, then you will need some tape, um, something pretty strong, maybe like duct tape. Mine is Gorilla Tape, uh, maybe a little overkill, but um, electric tape might work as well. And you will need some liquid glue. Again, uh, mine is Gorilla Glue. It's a little overkill, but um, just to put on some decoration on your little fish. Um, you will also need some scissors. Um, and uh, you can have smaller scissors, no problem. And if you want to decorate with something else, like I have these um, wrapping papers that I recycled recently, I thought maybe I'd add, add some color to my fishes this time. Um, all right, so if anybody needs to run around and gather some more stuff, if you were missing anything, just take a second to do that. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll start with preparing our plastic. So you want a piece, um, depending on how many fishes you want, we'll do three to five fishes, right? So it's like a little uh, aquarium. And um, so you'll plan your plastic size according to um, to that. So I'll do about the same size here. Um, so I'll grab my scissors. And here we go. So it doesn't have to be perfectly square or anything like that. Um, all the puppets that we do here with recycled materials, I'm never so worried about them being um, even or um, symmetrical. Um, and why is that? It's because in real life, nothing's actually symmetrical anyways. Um, so whether my elephant has a bigger eye or um, my turtle, you know, has a bigger bump on one side, it doesn't matter to me. Um, so again, here... The plastic will only be um, representing the water, so it doesn't matter if it's not square. In fact, you could make it any other shape if that's what you like. But make sure there's two pieces at the top that you can hold on to. Right, so I'm just going to make this a little smaller here. And if you're using a bag, you can cut out the handles and you can open split your bag open in two okay so that you have only one layer of plastic right so that's what you're using your scissors for perfect um, so here we go we have a little sheet of plastic now before we start gluing our cds onto the plastic we'll prepare the tails um, so the reason why we want to use these booklets is uh, to make these tails a little bit more fuller here. So you're going to grab your booklet and you're going to take the first page and the last page of the booklet and fold it back onto itself, right? So you can see here there's two layers, right? So I took the first page and the last page folded it backwards, and then I have the remainder of the booklet. 
that's coming out. Now, if you're like me and um, you only have CDs and no booklets, you can use any other kind of paper. So mine still has two layers to it. So I'm going to split it open a little bit so that I can do the same um, action. Okay. Now, um, measure about the width of the CD, okay? It can be thinner a little bit. And think about what shape you want your tail to be in. Okay, so I did my shape, um, my, my shape uh, sort of triangular like this. You might want something a little rounder, whatever it is, but it's gonna be the time to go and cut in that shape of your tail, okay? And you could make it longer, shorter, however you like. If you want to draw first and then cut over your drawing to make sure that um, you have your, your shape really um, the way you want it, no problem, take the time to do that. Again, I'm not worried personally about it being symmetrical at all, okay? Um, because tails are not symmetrical in real life. So, once we have our tail shape, we're going to come and glue the two pieces, so you have your front and back page, onto your CD like so, okay? So mine looks like really large in comparison to my CD. So I'm actually going to make it a little smaller. All right. So now I'm gonna glue these two onto my CD like so, okay, with my glue. Open up. Okay, I'm gonna take the time, here we go. Now this um, liquid glue, you could have like crazy glue or um, even just the, that little white um, art, art and craft glue um, should be enough. Okay, obviously it's going to depend on how much you want to use your puppet and um, how actively you want to move it around. Excellent. Allowing that to rest for a minute. And now when we put our fish onto the plastic, um, we have to do it with the tape, okay? We've tried doing it with the glue, but the glue melt melts the plastic. So, um, because we're using this soft sheet of plastic, we're going to put on a little bit of tape. Um, so, I'm sure most of you have done this before, where you grab the tape, right, and you roll it backwards onto itself, like so, and you put it on the back of your CD, okay? If you prefer having the writings showing on the front of your puppet, you can choose to do that. Um, I like to have the um, shiny side at the front, so I'm going to put the tape on the um, printed side of my CD. And I'm going to put two, three pieces of tape just to make sure it's not going anywhere. And then when you're putting the tape pieces onto your CD, make sure you really um, flatten it. So pull on the edges 
okay, so that you don't have too much movement between the plastic and the CD. And here we go. So now uh, you can choose where you want your first fish to sit. Um, I find it useful not to have them in straight lines, okay, for the movement of the um, of the plastic. So I'll start up in a corner with this one. Here we go. And press really hard. And then you can just uh, pull it up, make sure it's not going anywhere. And that looks pretty good to me. All right. So now that um, now that my CD, my first fish is glued onto here, I'm going to come and decorate it. So first of all, the tail, um, we're going to cut some little fringes in the tail. Okay, so if you have your whole booklet showing here, like on these ones, right? You can cut little um, different lengths. Of fringes in your booklet okay to have it um, uh, puffy a little bit like this so you can shorten the booklet in two and then come and uh, cut your fringes at different lengths okay, what I'm gonna do is because I only have two layers I'm gonna first cut um, on this on the length Okay, so I'm making them fairly thin. And here we go. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, instead of shortening them, um, I'm just going to um, smoosh them very scientific term. So I'm just going to bend them a little bit like this with my hand and okay, make them a little more frizzy so they have um, more movement and volume. Okay, so gently to so make sure not to um, destroy your paper, but just give it a little bit more volume. Okay, when you're satisfied with that. Um, now we'll move on to decorating the fish, okay? So uh, you could decorate with, so what I did here is I took some pieces of the booklet that were matching colors and I went and uh, cut some shapes in it. So this time around, um, I'm just gonna take little pieces of um, wrapping paper and put some little specks on top there. Right. So again, using my glue this time. Okay, so when you're gluing paper onto the CD, no problem. You use the glue. It's only for for uh, the um, the plastic sheet. We can't use the glue. And So most glues um, take a bit longer to dry. You might have to wait longer with your finger in place. Mine only take 30 seconds, which is why it's quite practical. And I'm just coming and putting uh, little balls on directly onto the CD, which is the fish's body. And I'm gonna change up some colors. Now, obviously, with the decoration, if you have any other ideas, um, 
if you have some some stuff lying around your house that you think wow we could totally use this maybe some fabric scraps um like an old t-shirt that's you know I don't know, like it, it has holes in it or something, but you like the, the design of it, the fabric, um, go for it. So the, the, the idea is really to reuse anything you have around that wouldn't have a use otherwise, right? So anything that inspires you, maybe you want to glue some old candy that's too hard to eat. Who knows? So I'm almost done for now with my deco, so I'll show you. I'm just going to add one more piece in length on the tail to give it some color. So I glued this last piece on the other front so it would have some movement. Here we go. So this is my nice little colorful fish. All right. So you could add as much deco as you like on there. So as you can see on here, I used some uh, scraps from the CD booklet to make my little deco on, on top of the fishes. All right. Now, before we go any further with our piece of plastic, just make sure you have two places you can really hold on to and that you do have some movement to it, right? So make sure that the fish is in a good position right now. And we're going to be ready now to add our second fish, okay? Now, if you're not done with your deco on the first fish, don't worry, okay? You can take some time after the workshop to do as much as you like. You could also use some paint. Um, you could use some, some uh, crayons or uh, markers, um, whatever you like. But I'm just going to focus on repeating the process to place our different fishes on the aquarium. And then you can spend as much time decorating um, after the workshop. So grab your next CD and grab your next booklet or your next um, piece of paper. Now see if you'd like to try maybe a different shape in your tail this time. So instead of having my um, casual um, funnel shape this time, I'll try to do um, a tail that's a little bit more, even more triangular. Again, not symmetrical. I like it. So I'm just going to fix her up a little bit here. Nice. 
So if you remember well, um, now we're going to glue this tail onto our CD. And on both sides. Obviously, if you're using a really strong glue like mine, you really don't need a lot, okay? And make sure to really flatten that glue so um, it doesn't make any bubbles. So here I am, I've got my tail. And this time I'm gonna cut in my fringes before I put my fish onto my plastic. Go ahead and cut in your fringes if you wanna be doing that. And again, I'm going to help it have a little bit more life. Nice. So here I am. I've got my second fish. And again, I'm going to use the side that doesn't have writing. Um, now, as I was saying, the way you want to place your fishes in here, um, make sure your fishes are not directly in line with one another. So I wouldn't put this one right here. Okay, it might make it a little harder for the movement. Um, so I'm going to put my fish uh, just below and on the left side. Again, when we're putting the CD onto the plastic using the tape. So I'm putting three pieces of tape. Three is always a good number for anything, I believe. If you see it's too uh, weak, you can add some more or maybe uh, grab some more solid tape. Excellent. Make sure your piece of uh, plastic is flat before you glue your fish on there. Here I come. So now I've got my two little fishes. Excellent. And if you're doing five, um, right, you could uh, have a bit of a bigger piece of paper. You could make them just a little closer from one another. I'm going to do three again this time. So I'm going to do my third one sort of in the lower um, part of the plastic piece. So let's go um, for my third one. And um, actually, you know, I'm going to use, I'm going to try to use this for the third one, see what happens. So if you have some colored papers that you'd like to use for the tail instead of the booklet. Um, I like the booklets because they have colors. Sometimes they have images. But if your booklet is kind of boring, 
feel free to go and explore some other options. I'm going to do like a two colored tail with uh, using the red and the yellow. Nice. And I'm going to grab my third CD and I'm going to glue these onto there. I'm going to put the red tails uh, underneath the yellow tails so that I have this um, mix of colors. So if you want to have two layers like me, what you're going to want to do is uh, glue the first, the bottom layer first, and then leave some glue in forward of that so that you can add the other one on top. So, okay, and making sure we've gotten everything. So. Excellent. And I'm going to go straight to the other side. So here's my last fish, and now I'm ready to put the tape on. And I'm going to place it, um, again, not in direct vertical line or in direct horizontal line with my other fishes. So um, I'm going to move it about here. There we go. And I'm not going to do any fringes for this one since the tails are a little bit thinner. Okay, but up to you, you can do your fringes. So here I come. So I have my four fishes, and the way that I move my aquarium is by creating this sort of wave-like motion with my hands. So I bring one hand forward, one hand back, and then I try to keep just a little bit of looseness in my plastic, so not too much. I have it a, a quite a bit of tension in here, but I the loose is what creates the wave-like motion, right? Um, so I'll show you my other example again, so the one with the booklet, so you can see the difference. This one is a little tighter, right? So you can see how the movement is different then. So those are all choices. Um, 
So I'm going to stop here for this workshop. Okay. I encourage you to finish, um, finish decorating your fishes any way you like, add some colors, um, use uh, anything to glue on top of it. Um, as I said, any pieces of cardboard, colorful, uh, crayons, markers, paint. Um, maybe you want to put some beads, some uh, shiny stuff on, on there. Now, I will go show you a few um, other possibilities for what you could do for bigger projects, okay? So if you're a parent and you're gonna guide this activity for a birthday party or a teacher and you're gonna do this in class, um, you could choose to team up your kids and to do some bigger fishes, okay? So in our shows, we have these human sized puppets, okay? Mert Mons shows. Um, so the human sized puppet um, we put larger pieces of plastic. One example, right? So this fish um, I made only with CDs and then this larger vinyl disc, right? So it's super interesting to reuse these vinyl discs and also the CDs because they're very hard to recycle, right? So it's not like metal or plastic that can be recycled. These things don't recycle. Now, this fish um, is going to swim by itself. It's a little bit harder to manipulate, okay, to recreate a swim like motion. And if you're going to use this many CDs on a larger piece of plastic, you want to use a piece of plastic that is a little bit thicker. So this is a sort of a thicker garbage bag. It's white and not transparent. Okay, these adhere a lot better than those softer uh, transparent plastic. Okay, so this is an option, right? If you're going to do a collective work, and we might decorate each of the um, CDs to have a more colorful fish. Okay, and then I'm going to show you one last option. So this is actually the one that is most used inside the show. And this is even larger now. So this time, uh, we didn't use CDs, we used um, aluminum plates, right? So aluminum plates that came from uh, lasagna or whatever kind of stuff you buy in the store. Um, so these are a little bit more durable. They're easier to adhere, okay? Either with the tape or you can dig some little holes through them and attach them with rope through the, the plastic sheet, okay? This plastic sheet is a shower curtain. Okay, that's what I use to, um, to tie my aluminum plate on. So this, as you can see, has a really smooth fish-like wave motion to it. It's really interesting. And again, you can take the time to decorate each of the, uh, the aluminum plates to create something more colorful. So the reason why I wanted to leave you with these examples is uh, Mertmon's signature is to create these human-sized and giant puppets. And we do touring in schools, libraries, um, daycares, festivals, you name it. So I hope you share this project with um, uh, your school, um, your family, whoever it may be. And don't forget, please, um, to share Mertmon's videos and website, um, just uh, sharing where you got the idea from. Um, our purpose is only to give a lot more ideas. And if you go on the website, you'll see tons of other animals that are all made from recycled things. You won't need to buy expensive um, materials or anything. They're all stuff that you can find in your recycled bins. And it'll keep giving you more and more ideas for fun uh, crafting projects to do with your, with your kids or with your family. So don't hesitate to write if you have any questions. Um, you'll have all of our um, contact information in the VPC website. And um, I hope you enjoyed the, the workshop. Thank you so much.